Hello, what's up? Ali here for our update to our Android jailbreak hosting. Well, uh, thanks uh, to Move for this application and uh, providing us the updates. Uh, you can check his uh, channel on our description. And also thanks uh, to all individuals who have uh, contributed much on our PS4 jailbreak scene. Well, uh, just a little overview before we proceed. What exactly is Android hosting and uh, what are its advantages? And why do we have uh, to choose... Uh, you know, um, self-hosting using Android. Well, uh, self-hosting doesn't uh, rely on uh, web host, but sometimes uh, this host uh, undergoes some maintenance, and that is the reason why all of a sudden we can no longer access their address. While uh, self-hosting, you will always have a control on uh, your exploit as well as your payload. Though previously, you will have uh, to use uh, your phone every time you activate your jailbreak. But for this uh, newest version, um, offline caching has been added so you only need your phone the first time you activate your jailbreak or when you load a specific payload. So on this video we are going to show you how we can activate our jailbreak using the, this uh, newest uh, version, um, how we can uh, choose a different gold hand and also how we can load a specific payload. All of the links needed are in our description, our PS4 jailbreak host and all of our payloads. So later we'll go ahead and explain what are these payloads for and going back to our jailbreak host if you have any other similar application installed in your phone you will have to uninstall them first or in case you are trying to install this application and you're getting an error that means that you have a similar application that is uh, already installed so just make sure that you don't have any application on your phone that is used uh, for jailbreaking your ps4 but let us go ahead and install this one After installing the application, make sure that our phone and our PS4 is connected with the same network. So just go ahead and click on start server and you will see the address on the top of the application. But we'll have to reset our host first on our PS4 before we can add another host. And to do that, let us go to our internet browser, press start or option, delete all, back to option settings, delete cookies, and clear website data. Now let us go ahead and enter the address we have on the application. By the way, don't forget to include the HTTP along with the complete um, IP address. After entering the address, your PS4 will automatically install the cache offline. This way, you will no longer need your phone every time you use or activate your gold hand. We can now go ahead and turn off our phone or turn off the application, but we'll keep it open so that we can show you how we can load a uh, payload later. Now, from here, we can go ahead and choose a specific version of gold hand that you want. So, what is the relevance of this? Well, basically, if you want all of the features available on Goldhand, you'll have uh, to choose uh, the latest version. And the latest version we have right now is Goldhand 2.3. But if you simply want uh, to activate your Goldhand simply for the game, you can uh, settle with uh, 2.0. This is still the most stable Goldhand with the least uh, issues. But for now, let us go ahead and uh, use the latest uh, version of Goldhand. You know the drill, once you see this message, we'll have uh, to insert our USB. And once you see this message, you just go ahead and uh, press OK. Now, if you want uh, to use a specific payload, say you want to uh, disable the updates, which is uh, very much advisable, especially if you have uh, just uh, jailbroken your PS4, using the disabled update uh, will make sure that uh, your PS4 will not run any accidental updates. Uh, to do that, first we need uh, to uh, enable or activate the bin loader of our PS4. Golden settings, server settings, and uh, check uh, the enable bin loader server. Here we can uh, use our phone uh, to send a payload on our PS4. Back on our phone, you click on the drop down menu just beside the payload and choose add custom payload. 
from here you can browse where you have saved the payload that we have just downloaded let us uh, choose uh, disable updates here and once you have uh, picked your payload click on send payload to port 9090 so we have uh, just uploaded uh, the disable updates uh, Again, uh, just a reminder, if you haven't uh, disabled your updates yet, it is strongly recommend to use this application. This will prevent any updates uh, that can occur on your PS4. And uh, just a little bonus, if you have uh, a uh, rooted phone, you can activate your jailbreak uh, without the need of USB. You can simply um, choose the mount exploit USB image when the PS4 asks for the USB. And just unmount the exploit USB image to the notification. Now let us go ahead and uh, turn off our application and try to activate our jailbreak without the use of our phone. All right, so you see that we have uh, successfully updated or uh, activated our jailbreak uh, even with our application turned off. So we can just simply activate our jailbreak like the usual web hosting. But in case uh, you want to use a specific payload, then you will have uh, to open the application again. So uh, again, another reminder, if you are having some issues with the installation of this application, that means that you have a similar application installed in your phone. So just make sure that you uninstall any uh, similar application, even if it is an older version and if you are still having some issues please go ahead and share them on our comment section and i will definitely address them and if you find that this video helpful please go ahead and like and subscribe and i will definitely see you on our next video bye bye